Bracket up here for the water lock and the exhaust. We're going to put a bracket in here for the inverter side of the generator okay. and a little bracket down here for the mud box and a little gusset across there just to spread the load on the hull from yeah. this business. And that's about your lot. And tomorrow, a bracket for the battery over there. A battery box. A battery tray. A battery tray. Mm. Mm. Maybe we need to make a box. Maybe Ian needs to make a box. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a box. You yeah. yeah. It would be the first box I've made yeah. for it, this boat, I tell you. It wouldn't, would it? No. Well, I think something tailor made would be much better. Been keeping with the rest of the boat. Yeah, it's completely unique, bespoke, yeah. and <laughs> fucking expensive. That's the one. <laughs> right. Do you have a that one? Yeah. Let me get my feet out of the way. Yeah, health and safety socks. <laughs> I've got my health and safety shorts on, and Pete's yeah. got his health and safety sandals on. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> We're all ready to go. You get both bits. I've got both yeah. knees. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So the, ge the generator will draw wa raw water into the engine, go yeah. around the engine, get injected to the in into the exhaust, right. and then it will come out the exhaust with water in it up to that box, and that box will separate the gases and the water. Okay, and then so, so you got you got a gas vent that's above the water. Line. The gas will come out like a normal exhaust, and the water will come out below below the water so line without the girdle. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any kind of alarm or something for this thing that if you if you oh yeah if it's watched if it does not get in the yeah. water it'll be it'll tell you when it's not happy yeah, yeah.
Good morning, guys. Morning, Rick. What time do you open? What? I don't know. Chap on the bridge wants to know. Ask him what he does. <laughs> what are you after? We need a little repair gun. Okay. He's up there, the other place. What, what sort of repair? The centre uh, tie, the centre line is kind of cracking. Oh, a bit of welding. Oh, I don't know welding. Oh. Yeah, stuff it on. Oh I'm filming it all like right, yeah. It's been a bit of a journey, I have to film it all. <laughs> Where's those, Simon? These lights are, though. No, no, headlights. Hmm? <laughs> Daylights. <laughs> yeah, the auto stop. <laughs> So here we are in dry dock. So let's have a little look at the underside of the boat and a lot of weed around the propeller. So most of my bitumen seems to have dropped off the rudder. <laughs> I need a bit under the water. Uh, yeah, it's okay. The rest of the boat not looking so bad, I guess. Yeah. It's got the K&A lime scale on it. K&A lime scale, it's protective though, isn't it? That's it, yeah. According yeah. to uh, oh. young Derek. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I think where we're coming through, this is ideal. I think we're going to come through um, about here. Yeah. Um, with the uh, inlet for the generator. That seems to be in the uh, holes in the, the bitch. Yeah. It seems to have... Uh, <laughs> stayed on there which is good always good news not such as I can see really Ooh, hello little fish trying to escape a bigger fish <laughs> it's all that in here <laughs> Peter's almost nearly gone in Smoking hole. Vandals. Three holes. Three holes. Well. So that's the big exhaust pipe at the back. Yeah. And that's what water out. Water out.
Do you want to climb aboard and then I'll um, push you off that? I'll keep going on the front. just to show you the results of um, the last few days of work essentially setting up everything that's needed for the installation of the generator um, so the big harem scaring was to get these fitted which is uh, the holes through the hull with stopcock obviously uh, that's going to be the input for water which is going to be used to cool the generator and the generator exhaust so that input there i think goes into this which is a mud filter or weed hatch this is the, the stand where the um the generator is going to sit uh it's going to be bolted to this removable plate that will slide out which will uh, enable us to get the generator out easier it's going to get run the fuel lines um, which are going to go back in and feed off the day tank um, so there's a fuel out and return this is the battery for to start the generator it's going to sit in that box all nicely made and we've got two choices where to mount the inverter the inverter i don't know all the electrical guns that goes with it i don't know what that is controllers i suppose um, so either there if it needs to be mounted upright or down here if we need to mount it horizontally because this is going to be very very hot in here as it is we're thinking about what we might have to do to increase the uh, increase the airflow through here after cutting a couple of holes for vents in the column for the rear steering position which will vent out where the chain comes down here maybe get some kind of fan which will just draw air through the next thing is this uh, is going to be the water out the hole that's again below water level so that will go out there without making a splishy splashy sort of noise I think so all, this, all of this is really trying to make it as quiet as possible it's supposed to be a whisper quiet generator and this is a fish panda exhaust so I think the water uh, is injected into the exhaust manifold and this little device separates um, water from the exhaust gases and exhaust gases will go out the third hole at the back there like an exhaust yeah it's uh, it's all waiting now for the arrival of the, of the generator which is promised for uh, mid-august so that should be good the only other problem is what to do with all the crap that was there so I think my storage my storage options need to be reviewed I on the other hand achieved making tea and sandwiches so uh, yeah there you go but still a vital part of the team I might add